Hello guys and welcome to another Top Table Wargaming YouTube video. This is a, another review video and today we're going to be reviewing the Pale Orc Foot and Mounted from Ridgeback Miniatures. Um, I was lucky enough to receive a copy of this uh, or these models should I say um, from Ridgeback Miniatures um, and yeah I was very very happy when they turned up Packaging was great. Um, I really like the way he packages his minis. There's there's no chance of any damage to them whatsoever. Um, so let's get into the minis. We'll start with the foot version. As you can see, it's a very dynamic pose. Um, anyone who's uh, seen the movie, the Battle of Five Armies, will recognise the pose. This is the Pale Orc in armour. Front back there, just so you can see. A lot of detail gone into the armour which is really really nice. Um, I had a go myself at sculpting um, a version um, of this with the armour and I can uh, assure you it's uh, very very difficult just to get these little different layers and plates and um, they've done a, a much better job than I was capable of uh, <laughs> by a long shot has to be said. Um, we've got the new um, he's taken the branch or whatever it was that was in his arm originally and he's got the sword version in his arm which is cool really like the face let's see if it's coming up, it's even got like the scars on the side of the face and what's... Let's just see, can you see the detail there on the chain? very very nice it's a lot of work gone into it, really good job um, really really can see, just, I'm just trying to get it to focus in if I can hold it still enough and get the light to stop reflecting badly. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to try and get the armour in there so you can see how much detail has gone into it in and around the belt area. Um, and you, you'll be able to see if you, if you own a copy of the standard Azog, um, you'll know that there's a lot gone into that and it's a lot different than the version that you'll have from Games Workshop. So that's the foot version. And then we come to the mounted version, which out of the two is my favourite. I like the look of it, I like the pose. Um, I think he's got the the scale right. Um, if you look at it, it looks right. I mean, Azog's huge in the movies. Um, it's got a nice, nice scale to it. I think, if, if anything, the foot version looks slightly smaller. Um, and the the one on the warg is is bang on scale wise for me. There you go. You can see. Really, really nice. Even the the pale orc. Uh, his um, scars on his arms, etc. And on the warg, you can see the scars on the warg. There and the, the, you get it's slightly multi part. You get a, a, an arm which you can position yourself to get as, as dynamic as you like a pose and one of the legs for the wag which would have been for casting purposes um, it's got a much cleaner cast uh, as far as flash um, on the model I have not touched this model this is how it's come out of the box so it's very very good there's a little, little bit there you can see on the head which I think is in a similar spot on the, the foot version and just get it to focus, yeah, just needs filing off slightly, nothing major, very very clean cast, very well done. And if I'm not mistaken, um, he does all these himself, which is uh, fair play, fair play, because I've, I've tried casting in resin and metal and it's, it is very very difficult, needs a lot of patience, um, yeah he's done, done a cracking job. So um, yeah, if you'd like to um, have a look at more of his designs and his minis or you want to get your hands on an armoured version um, of the Pale Orc foot and mounted if you go on Facebook and you search Ridgeback Miniatures um, you, you should find him if not if you can drop me a PM and I'll uh, I'll send a link and you can have a look at his, uh, his awesome minis there's a lot of stuff on there hopefully I'll be reviewing some more stuff from him in the future there's some really really cool stuff on there so get on over there have a look and um, yeah, just drop him a message, let you know what you think, and let him know that you um, you seen the review on the channel. And um, yeah, hopefully, we'll see more of his products and his releases on the channel in the not too distant future. 
So keep on gaming guys and I will see you all soon. Take care.